All right, so when we're in Lake Korea, we're at the second boat launch. We're walking around to get to the spot. I do have toilet paper. Good. I should have some. I gotta recheck. <laughs> hey, the car do it work? No, there is something that's that's coming up. Yeah, no. What the? Little, throw a little crappy jig while well, my dad goes over there. I'm gonna leave my backpack on the ground. It's too heavy. There's a lot of debris in the water. Gonna throw hella close. See if there's anything. My jig head's pretty light. Looking around, don't see anything. Oh, I miss. I miss. I gotta be my dad. Dude, I already missed the first bite. I just threw hella close too. Doing this little pocket. This jig head isn't heavy. Fish on. <laughs> Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> The carp are jumping. Pretty good sized bass. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but I don't know. Woo! -hoo. Good sized bass for the morning. Tiny little crappie jig. Oh, that's all you need here. Just small little crappie jig. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pretty good sized bass. Okay, so fix my little paddle tail. It's my little bait. Keeps coming out the hook. This is my last one. <laughs> this is my last paddle tail. After that, it's off to curly tail. I'm trying to catch a crappie, not bass.
we mainly came for crappie, but people were on boats catching them and on shore. All right, I'm gonna switch to my bait caster, fish for some bass. First catch with the bait caster. Oh, my dad caught a crappie. Okay, I'm on my way to my dad. He caught a crappie. Screw that. I don't like, I don't want to fish bass right now. I want to catch a crappie. have stringers on me. Where'd you go? Straight where all these hookish shit is. Okay, where all these shit is. Throw hella close on me. I got a hit over there too, but then. I want to, I want to, Go first. Huh? Go first. You gonna talk? Huh? When are you gonna talk? I wanted to come here before you did, but then I was trying to catch crappie. Okay, so my dad missed one, but I'm coming back over here just to retry. Cause over here is pretty deep compared to where my dad's throwing at, which is strange. Go this way. Instead of straight out. Hmm, the cows from the field. And I'm surprised I caught that American Shad. There's a whole bunch of them put on polarized sunglasses at Heron. You see them swimming along the side. At first I didn't have polarized sunglasses and I said, hey, I see something swimming. And then there's this other guy with polarized glasses. He said striper. My dad has polarized sunglasses. Striper with throwing tiny swim baits at him. And then freaking a bass. This guy's not bad. Hello, long. Yeah. Got a bass. Oh, my dad got another one. Shoot, I'm missing out, dude. Got a bass. Thought it was gonna be a crappie. So yeah, back to what I was saying. And then I put on, I start throwing crappie jig. It hit American Shad. Whole bunch of them. But then they wouldn't really hit. So my dad was fishing striper, nightcrawler. A lot of people there. He got a couple hits, but then too many lines in the water. Everybody goes to Heron, not Avenue. Avenue does pretty good for bass. Throw a purple robo worm. And that works. Drop shot, football jig. Everything should work. For me, I haven't caught a fish on a football jig. The cows from the field move. <laughs> That's my 
I think that's the sign where I need to move, because I'm just kicking ass at this point. Not crappy. Gotta work my swim bait slower. Slowly checking you. I like Lake Wheel. It's guaranteed to catch something because the spotted bass. But then, it's not guaranteed to keep something, but it's guaranteed to catch something. Holy dude, blinded by the sun. Try and fish for bass right here. Because I canceled my throw. First catch with the bait caster. Oh, my dad caught a crappie. Okay. I'm on my way to my dad. <sighs> Fish towards the sun. I got more ground to cover at least. Okay, I'll see when I catch another fish. Fish on. It's a little guy. Largey bound. Like my dad said, largey. You don't really, ooh, water's warm. This guy's warm. I like Lake Wheel because the spotted bass, but then you barely catch any largies. So it's a win win here. Well, I see it as a win win. Come on. Or the five pound large mouths. Or the five pound spotties. Dad. Dad. Who's... Shut up. Hello, no, but it's called life. Carps are still jumping. I miss. There's a lot of bass here. That's what I like about Lake Kuiya. I missed one. Come back and bite. Well, I see you guys when I catch another fish. I'm gonna go back to where my dad's uh. to fish crappie or bass right next to him. So, it's spotty and largey. There are some mom out here, but then you gotta be at the river. Which sucks. And the boats. The boats suck the most because they cause mud lines. Walking to the next spot. Dang! Whoo! Man, people already beat us to that rock point. Should have gone there before they did. Huh? Yeah.
Get in. Dang. Oh, well, let's give it a shot. Let's see if I can throw. I can't throw far. Normally, dude. Should I go on the, on the rock? I can't throw far. <laughs> You think I could cross through there to the tree? Yeah. To the tree over there. Um, yeah, I don't I don't trust these boulders either. Yeah. That's a big fat L bro. You think there's big catfish right here? I wasn't even recording either. It's got a nice spotty after I broke. Hey, at least I'm catching bass, huh? This guy ripped up my lure. Yeah. Hey, he probably catching something out there, dude. Hey, Dad, you got shorts underneath? I do. I could go in the water. That's why I always wear shorts underneath, bro. Because you're junk too big, bro. Hey, and plus it's summer too. So... I know. Oh, but it's sandy too. Huh? It's sandy. I think when I get to the rock point, I'm gonna be waist deep, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Hell no, it's not worth it, bro. I ain't going that deep. Oh, I, I, see, I in the sweet spot, kid. I do hello for. If I could find a way to get to that rock point without going waist deep, bro. Oh, hell no, nah. too deep cut. The what? Alright. Oh my f God, dude. Oh, 
Oh, my stuff is falling out. <laughs> Rock, bro. Hell no, dude. I'm not going in there. Waist deep cut. That might limit. That deeper than waist deep. It's gonna be sandy now. Hell no. <laughs> I gonna put everything back on too. Let's go back to here. Right here is loaded, he says, but then too windy, dude. It was a windy day. Hey, bro, at least you gotta catch two. I don't catch any cut. Yeah, just put it on. Oh, yeah, dude. Made for the wild, bro. Oh, you know what I got in my shoe? Or I meant in my sock? Where is it? Got one of those little pokey things. Hey man, all I do is just walk barefooted. So I don't care. That's the benefit of walking barefoot. Dang it, dude. Only we had a kayak, dude. Yeah, first cast, dude. Yeah. Finally, finally, dude. You have a stringer? Nope. Oh, that. Oh, wait, you closed the back trunk, huh? Did you close. No, did you close the back trunk to the camera? Yeah, I Oh, okay. No. I thought I wouldn't need it because I didn't think I'll catch anything, but I guess I, I was wrong. The leaf got in the way. What the heck? Now all of a sudden it's not so windy anymore. There's a guy on the other side fishing for bass. He hasn't caught anything yet. Finally caught a crappy dude. Crappie, crappies are just scattered. You think so? Bass. <gasps> Heck yeah, dude. Okay. Get tied to that tree. Ouch. 
forgot how spiny these guys are. You think that's a female right there? So there's a tree, there's trees right there, trees right there, and there's a tree somewhere in the middle. That's what I think. Mine bit like in between the rocks right here. No, that's where I caught it. Just in between the rocks. The guy's fishing a football jig on the other side. Off. Hello, I'm sorry, I lost time back there. The upside down jig works. That's all I care about. So you think those guys limit the white Tacoma that was here? Oh, look at those ducks! But then, not the big bucky. <laughs> I'm gonna try that rocky spot. See if there's any fish there. Oh, they biting hella close then. Oh, big one. Hey, cut. Put my hand on, cut. Dang, good catch. Now you're catching it now. I don't need you. See, 
about to recharge that nigga. Cool. We might be. First cast when I threw two. Dang, do they like this upside down swim bait? Well, the good thing about it, they don't tear up your lure either. Just add a dab of super glue. They say super glue helps your bait stay on. <laughs> oh, it. oh my, my hit mid drop. Hey bro, we too good. They got a little spotty.